Oh boy, so join me today for an extra quick, extra fast unboxing. One moment while I open this shit up. <laughs> so what exactly do I got in here? Well, um, something that I've been wanting for quite a while. Actually, if you can see the little logo there, then it's kind of obvious what this is. But, um, uh, I consider myself quite the lucky man this time around. Why? You'll see in a bit, but you can already see what it is. And uh, my bed is now dirty. <laughs> and uh, if you can see it already, there he is. He's a special boy. Um, that I've been wanting this fucker since 2013, since launch year. And well, here he is finally. So I'm gonna open him up in a bit. Wait a, more, a bit more. But I'm gonna be telling a bit more of the story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this boy. Oh my god, I'm, I, you know, as they say in porn, I'm gonna fucking come. Oh my god, man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have to be fair, very careful while taking it out. I do not want to break it while recording, so, um, see you in a bit again. And look at him. And all that fucking glory, you guys. After many years, he's finally in my possession. The SH Monsters Godzilla 2000, Gojira Nisen, by... Tamashi Nations, and the funny thing is, I'm gonna keep him in his fucking box. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing around with some photos of it, playing around, occasionally taking out for the box, because I've been wanting this thing for many years, and I, of course, I'm gonna play as much as much as possible with it. So this is fast, but um, rather short. I just wanted to show this thing off because I'm very happy. So yeah, see y'all later. I was playing video games, minding my own business, you know? And then, BAM! Box day. Here it is. The Majestical. I went full overboard just spending one of my first paychecks on this. This is the, the glories of being a paid man in the modern world. In the quarantine world, that is. So we have, um, Zaton and, uh, Amard Mephilas. Over here. And then we have uh, King Joe Black, EX Zeton, um, Bemular, we got that in here. Oh yeah, look, Balton as well. I, I seem to like, you know, this is the funny thing about like buying these is basically, I forgot what I was getting. <laughs> I didn't expect these to come in so soon because apparently all flights from Japan, specifically to, well, wherever I live, I'm not telling you, bitch. It's, um, wherever I live, uh, were basically cancelled. The borders are closed, etc. So I didn't think that they would arrive. Until I saw that the shipping mentioned that it was already in its way to, well, over here. I'm like, what? Like, aren't they supposed to be closed? And like I said, I really didn't mind. I understand the situation going on over there. The Asian countries are the more affected ones. But I'm surprised that these guys arrived. So uh, let's open them up in a bit. So look at these mint condition beauties. Well, I'm pretty sure this guy is a bit used. Maybe it's the lighting, but he is looking fresh as hell. I've always wanted to get the um, Ultra Monster Series 2007 release of Zaton, which was meant to coincide with Ultra Galaxy, you know? Yep, so, and ironically, I have next to him King Joe Black, um, Mephilus Alien, a Bemular, the first Ultraman monster. And then um, EX Zeton, who's just absolutely beautiful. And some of these come um, with their um, data card ass files. So these were back when in Japan there was this game called Ultra Adventure, the game or something like that. It was like Ultra Battle or something like that. In the console version, it's called Ultra Coliseum. Yeah, here it is. It's Ultra Monsters DX or Neo, depending on the version. It got revised much like nowadays they have a fusion fight. So I have the cards for uh, EX Zeton, Armored Mephilas, and um, King Joe Black. Oh yeah, and Mephilas himself, the normal one. I, I got these ones because I was just like really excited to get them. You know, like it's not every day you can find these guys for great conditions, you know, the, so, um, yeah, I'll be maybe reviewing these whenever I have time, I don't know, right now the whole work at home 
quarantine shit has me busy with various things. So I'm like, I really don't want to record anything other than unboxings. But yeah, so just hopefully, yeah, we I record these because these are gonna look beautiful on my shelves. So um, expect a review sometimes, maybe next year. <laughs> Depends on what's up, because yeah, I'd rather record whenever there's really no one. Right now, I'm technically interrupting my brother's work schedule. <laughs> so, yeah, um, see y'all later. <laughs>